the water you see down in there is flooded, flooded water from um, Big Darby Creek. This is usually all land. all flood water and the rain is not done yet most of the trails down here are closed because they're all underwater the ancient trail I believe it's the ancient trail it's just right over there Okay, this is another view of that wooded area that's wet. We were right over there. Um, I said it was an ancient trail. It's actually the Terrace Trail. Look at that. We got water. And then I'm not going to walk this because I'm not going to get trapped in here. I'm just gonna go down here and look at it and then I'm coming back out. Because right now it does not take a lot of water long to build up. This is the terrace trail. Totally it may be all right that way because it slowly goes uphill. But like I say, I'm not going to do it today. But this is the terrace trail. River over there, the creek, Big Darby Creek. All this is flooded. And this will increase because we have more rain on the way later today and tonight. This is Big Darby Creek. I heard a tree crack over there. I thought something was getting ready to fall. This is Big Darby Creek, and right here, that is the uh, Dyer Trail. And I am actually surprised this is not underwater. I actually came here to look at this, thinking this would be underwater, but it's not that far. Maybe tomorrow, this will be underwater. Like I say, I'm really shocked that it's not underwater today. I'm not gonna follow it. Um, because it, it, it's still rising we still got more rain coming and I'm not gonna set myself up and get trapped in here I'm actually gonna go out this way and that's gonna take me to a little higher ground it's gonna take me back towards that big field um, on the dire trail that is pretty well low level for a while and then it, slowly starts to climb so I imagine that's safe all the way down through there for now but tomorrow I would really be surprised if this is not underwater tomorrow this part here hope they got that picnic table chain down <laughs> if not it may go down the river so I'm gonna end up going this way and around get back up on a little bit higher ground Okay, I was on the way back, 
and I hit this. Nothing major. I don't have the boots on, but it looks like I can get around over here instead of going back. The road is just right over there, about 100 yards. Worst case scenario, I just go over to the road and walk back, but it looks like I can get around through here. Let's just hope there's no more of these. <laughs> Like I said, the road's about 100 yards over that way. And I could just walk over to the road, follow the road back down to the parking lot. And we made it across. Another little wet spot up here, but don't, nowhere as bad. I'm not sure what the name of this trail, Cobb Shell or something like that. It's the one behind the ranger station. It's got several different um, paths coming down the hill to it. But, look how close the river is to it. Tomorrow, it starts going up there a little bit. But, I know further up it is flooded because I was at that earlier. So, I know it is flooded further up this path. But tomorrow, at least right here in this area, this low little spot right here, is going to be flooded. I guarantee it tomorrow. That there goes up just a little few feet, so that may survive. But not this. I'm going to head back up the hill because I already know. That I'm not going to get far that way because I already know for a fact it's flooded up there. I've already seen it. 